Hi, I'm Marco Lea, State Senator for the 21st District, and welcome to our first Washington White Board of 2017. Today we're going to talk about student loans and the Student Loan Bill of Rights. Though my bill died in committee in the 2016 legislative session, I'm reintroducing it this year, and I'm going to fight vigorously for its passage again this session. Spiraling student loan debt is strangling middle class households and those who aspire to join the middle class. This affects not just students currently taking out loans, but also working adults who are still paying off huge debt, as well as future students who face the same pitfalls. Right now, 60% of students borrow annually to help cover college costs. 86% of those students have borrowed more than $28,000. That means the average student loan debt today is $30,000. Overall, that means a staggering total of $1.4 trillion in student loan debt in this country. Now guess how many students have had their credit ruined by student loans and faced those 25% penalties on their debt? More than 7 million students across the country. Meanwhile, the fastest growing segment of student loan debt is debtors over the age of 65, either from assuming their children's debt or from still paying off loans of their own. As a 2003 graduate who's still repaying my student loans, I know firsthand what it's like to wrestle with this long-term debt. We need to do everything we possibly can to help Washingtonians access the college education they need without becoming strangled by debt. First, consumers shouldn't have to go to court to find protection. Protection should be built into the law. The Student Loan Bill of Rights will require loan servicers operating here in Washington to first gain approval from the state. It'll also arm our Attorney General with additional tools to conduct investigations and examinations of loan servicers. This would make it easier for the Attorney General to prosecute companies like Navient, a major student loan servicer who is being sued over unethical and misleading methods to purposely maximize students' debt. Second, consumers need someone they can turn to when they encounter loan problems. My bill will create a new student loan ombuds to ensure that borrowers and families have advocates and assistance when they need it. Last year, Democrats in both the House and Senate recognized the need for action and supported this legislation. This year, the Attorney General requested the bill, and we've gotten bipartisan support. Our goal this session is to persuade more of our colleagues on both sides of the aisle to get behind it so we can enact laws to protect students across our state from exploitation and dishonest business practices. And that's today's Washington Whiteboard.